Show me how to love. Na, 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 na. Teach me how to love. All right, let's see what we got here. Bam, 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 bam. bam. This is it, y'all. This is it. I'm making my own deck. Okay, the truths will set you free. Darkness cannot win, period. I'm making my own deck. Don't have the rest written, but guess what? I am being led to create my own deck here. And um, it will be definitely divinely and intuitively written. And it then I can say it is written. Once I'm done with the deck, we are going to start with uh, speaking of own deck. This is years ago I wrote these, but I never would have thought that I would use them in this manner. It's simply how one of the ways how I learned the scriptures in the Bible. So I know I'm back and forth, and I know from my type of learning, you know there's different types of learning, right, y'all? Well, my my chosen um, type of learning is by writing it down. Because even when you journal, even when you write down your goals, even when you write down your dreams, not the dreams that you had the night before when you wake up, but I'm talking about the dreams that God has instilled in you, like your visions, your visions. Um, it's just a better way. It's when you write stuff down, guess what you're doing, y'all? You're embedding it in your subconscious mind. And then you're also not, not just embedding it in your subconscious mind. You're, you're literally, uh, learning it that way, but you're also getting it out there into the universe, into the ethers, into the atmosphere, into the mythology. I don't care what you want to call it. You In the universe, you know what I'm saying? In the cosmos. Call it whatever you want to call it. But anyways, these cards are always like that. So here we go. We're going to take one off the top, one in the middle, and one at the end which is the bottom right here. Okay. So the first one that came off is Psalm 55, verse 16 through 19. It says, as for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Evening, morning, and noon, I will cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. He has delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them. Even he that abides of old, Selah. Because they have no changes. Therefore, they fear not God. We're going to speak on that first. We got to speak on this because it it brought out, it brought up a lot of feelings. I mean, that's a long, to me, that's a long, oh, shoot. No wonder that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, three scriptures. That's why I like to break down scripture by one by one. But anyway, what I, what I got out of this, it says he's delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against, against me. Sometime back in the day, you know, in your life, you can easily feel that there's a conspiracy against you, that people are, and it's always people. It's always people. It's always the, in, in the uh, spiritual atmosphere, the spiritual warfare, and it always involves people. And sometimes those people could be the closest to you. And they say the closest get the mostest. <laughs> Ooh, you ain't never lying. The closest get the mostest. The closest people to you get the most of you. The most of you. The most of your love. The most of your energy. 
Yes, I'm getting all this uh, intuitively downloaded right now into me, inspired by the Most High. Okay? Because creativity flow, creativity flow. Oh, you can't stop the flow when it starts flowing. So anyway, um, the another the other thing I got out of here was okay. So you're gonna have peace. The battle's not not yours. It's the Lord's. It don't say that in here, but that's what what that's what the Lord says. That's what God says. That's what the divine says. That's what the Most High, the universe, whatever you wanna call it. This is not what the subject is at hand, but what I'm saying is the battle is still the Lord's. You take vengeance upon yourself if you want to. Guess what? You're going to get the wrath of that because you're taking matters into your own hand. Okay? But uh, 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 the, the Bible also says, um, humble yourself before the Lord and I will exalt you before man. So, you by you not retaliating, you know, turning the other cheek, so to speak, or whatever that means, right? Whatever you want it to mean. I am just the messenger giving the message. I'm the vessel being used to that. Okay, in this here video. Um, as long as you humble yourself, you know, remain humble and meek and lowly. God loves a a, a contrite spirit. Spirit loves. A lowly spirit. Yeah, you can be high, not high and mighty, but you can be enthusiastic. You can be um, like I'm optimistic all the time and hopeful, and 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 that's not that's not that what that means. And contrite, a broken and contrite spirit means that you lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways you acknowledge you acknowledge spirit. You acknowledge the spirit within you that's higher, your higher self. Your Holy Spirit is your higher self. Whether you want to go to, whether you go to church or not, that doesn't matter. That the religion, dogma, none of that matters. What matters is the spirit within yourself that you have a relationship with. Uh, anyway, let's go move on. This is uh, what I got out of that. Uh, God shall hear and afflict them. Um, because they have no changes. Therefore, they fear not God. A lot of people don't fear God. In fact, they, 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 uh, they use that, that eight word with the H at the beginning of it. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't like, a lot of people don't like the word God. They, they can't stand the word God because a lot of people relate their pain, their trauma, their suffering, their childhood, their childhood, their trauma on, they put it on. They put it on God because, man, I got pinched. I got pinched in the church when I was a little girl for just because I couldn't keep still. Nobody want to sit up there and listen to no pastor on his knees sweating. That wasn't entertaining to me. It just was not. So what you pinching me for? I'm bothering you. I'm making you feel uncomfortable because you can't squirm in your seat as an adult. Knowing good and doggone well, you don't want to be in that pew either. Let's go home. Get me out of here is what I wanted. So guess what, y'all? I'm free today. I'm, 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 I got myself out of there, out of that same old traditional uh, ritual, a dogma, a routine. Patting your head and sweating and for what? Go to the gym and work out, homie. Anyway, that I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot. I cannot do it no more. I'm going to put my amethyst right here because I love my amethyst. And that represents love. And that's what this channel is about. So whatever y'all get out of this, take the love and compassion out of out of what you hear me saying. This is the second card we uh, I pulled. And um, I say we because I got spirit guides and angels around me at all times, protecting me, loving on me, teaching me, showing me uh, what to do next. So here is Joel, Joel, chapter two, verse 23. Now this is, this covers the whole index card more than, more so than this one. This is three scriptures. This is only one scripture. So it's a long scripture and it reads, be glad then ye children of Zion 
and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month, uh, 24. Oh, that's, that's uh, verse 24. So this is two scriptures. Okay, I didn't see that. I thought it was one up here. But here's 24 because it continues. And it says in the first month, And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. That means your life, your blessing, is going to be so powerful and so fat, overflowing, with wine and oil, which is the anointing on you. Chosen divine ones listening listening at me right now at 11 minutes. It just was 11.01 seconds. 11 minutes and one second. Just now when I turned, put my, put my head up in here. Up in there, up in there. So, uh, yeah, that's what it says. Um, you're chosen. You're, you're anointed. And that's totally what I get out of this. Uh, he gave you the former rain moderately, and he'll cause you to come down for you to rain in, in the latter rain as well, okay, in the first month, which is January, y'all. So if the first month is January, and here it is right now in November, just barely November 5th, 4th today, then don't you know in less than a month, less than tw about 27, so uh, 26 or 27 days, it's going to be... Okay, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Okay, so January, New Year, like this, this, this year, 2024, has passed by, has flew by. What have you? Okay, what have you done in 2024 that you think you can't get done now? You can finish it now. It ain't how you started. It, it's how you finish. So how are you going to finish 2024? First of all, and then January, it says I'm gonna bless you with more rain, overflowing with the anointing in the first month. In the first month, your life is not going to look the same. It's going to be overflowing with fatness. Okay? You might as well say the promised land or the land of milk and honey. Y'all take this word if it's yours. If it belongs to you. If you feeling it, uh, which they say resonating with this word, then you will definitely know that it is for you. And you would still be on this timer right now watching uh, because you you was with me in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. And, and you was with the, me in the beginning when I picked this card, this card, and this card. All three of them. Okay. First stack, middle stack, last of the stack. Let's go ahead and read the last one here. Psalms 55, verse 22. Cast your burden. Mm. Wow. Sometimes a gift can be a burden, y'all. That's why I put gift back there. This was years ago. This was night. This was like 20, 2009 or somewhere around there when I used to make these cards and I was studying the Bible real tough. Uh, but this says, cast your burden. And sometimes your burden can, your gift that you really blessed with and gifted with from the divine uh, can become a burden. But that didn't say gift. Okay. I, I, that's why it's in parentheses. But the, but the, but, but the scripture, I want to say the prescription, the prescription. Uh, the scripture say, of Psalm chapter 55, verse 22 says, cast your burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee or sustain you he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved that's that broken and contrite spirit that's also that uh humbleness that humbleness grateful and, and thankful attitude at all times giving thanks to the most high as you go about your day as you stop and smell the uh, roses as you help a, a lady cross the street. I mean, I don't know. After you see a a, bo a gang of boys beating up on a girl or another boy, uh, uh, an unfair fight, and you become that person's advocate as you do those things. It 
it becomes a burden. It could be a burden. You you stepping in to help somebody, especially somebody who can't help themselves. My God, I'm about to preach now. So that's what he said. He said, uh, he'll never suffer. That's the righteous. You are the chosen. You are the righteous. He'll never suffer you to be moved. Don't let it move you. I did a video yesterday on don't let it, or the day before. Don't let it move you. Don't let nobody or nothing move you out of your position that God has put you in. If he's got you doing some work in the church, if he's gotten you at home um, as a customer service rep, whatever you find yourself called to do, do it as unto the most high. Because that spirit of God is operating in and through you. Like first, like Colossians number one, verse 27 says, this is the mystery. This is the mystery that Christ has hid himself in you. Christ, the Christ, the anointed one has hid his spirit, his Holy Spirit in you. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm preaching or teaching. I'm teaching if you don't know anything about what I said, but you, but it makes sense. Okay. If it don't make sense, you know, some people are bold enough to let me know it don't make sense to them in my comment section, but they will either be talked to or deleted, blocked, period, point blank, period. And, and in the most loving and compassionate way, the most loving and compassionate way you will be blocked. Um, uh, not that if you don't agree with what I say, and you don't have to, but this is a, a channel of unity. This community is a community. Shard Timers is what I call you guys who subscribe to my channel and who love to support me and help me and, and help uh, listen to me and learn from me. You know, I got a little bit of some some common sense up here. You know, a little bit of gray hair, a little bit of wisdom. You understand me, and a little go a long way when it comes to the Most High who puts you in the position in the first place. Amen. All right, then, y'all, that's it. Um, and that's just this for now. This is just it for now. I like this uh, message. I really do like this message because it resonated with me. It, scriptures bring me closer to the Most High. So I love the Bible. I love what it represents. I love the stories, the analogies, the... Um, I just love it. And guess what? I love it more and more because I keep getting revealed to me and downloaded to me into my spirit. How, how, um, revelations, revelate, download more and more, uh, stuff that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And more stuff to find out about, to learn about, to, um, keep inquiring about, to seek. Okay. I keep seeking. I'm a seeker. I'm on a mission. Okay. Oh, I was going to say Holy Bible stands for He only left you. It's the B right here, y'all. Basic I instructions before leaving earth. Holy Bible. Use your imagination when you when I when you see me drawing a line in the sand, baby girl. I'm on that note, I'm going to go, baby boy, too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it out. We got uh, now, almost 19 minutes on the clock. I appreciate you. Why don't you leave me a message and let me know, hey, I hung in there with you until 19 minutes. It was, it was, you know, tell me. Tell me about myself. Tell me what you learned. Take care.